snow coming into you. And um, this could really be anyone, although I felt very directed to a certain person in each channeled message I wrote. So just remember to sit it with the person that feels like it fits it and that this is a collective reading as well. I also do offer personal readings too. You can find my link for that in the description box below for Skype and you can message me on there if you're interested. We can set something up. Also, um, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has been here to consistently watch my videos and support me on my channel. You are very appreciated and thank you for being here. If you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe so we can spread light, we can spread love, we can spread awareness, and other people can see the beauty in it as well. We shouldn't be scared of sharing our gifts this day and age anymore because there's no reason to fear it. So, I'm going to get started with Pile 1. Pile 1. I feel like you are very grounded in your passions at this moment. You may be getting ready to travel or take a trip somewhere. Someone may really want to travel with you as well. Somebody may want to go on a volunteer mission with you even if possible. Um, there is this divine timing jar here as well and it's about having faith and trust that when things are meant to happen, they happen and having patience and trust while you're waiting for the things that you're trying to manifest to come into your life. There may be some endings of cycles here and brand new beginnings as well. There may be a lot coming out of the closet in this situation. There may have been a lot of darkness in the past between you and this person, but there is a lot of positivity, joy, optimism, and happiness coming into both of you at this time. There may be a healing coming into your connection as well. So this may be somebody that uh, you may have had arguments with in the past or something along those lines. So we have the Maverick, Maverick Adventure Cub card too. Um, you may really enjoy adventures together. You may have gone on a lot of adventures together. You guys may have traveled a lot together as well. Maybe road trips, things like that. Or that's something that this person would like to do with you. We have the door is open. So like I was saying before, the door's open to express yourself, to come out, to say what you need to say. The time is now. It's time to bring a message forward, for one of you to bring a message forward. And the door is open with this person so you can express your true self and let them know what's up with you. Don't worry about winning or losing. Just enjoy the game. And try not to compete with this person as well. Sometimes competition can get in the way in relationships. I almost feel like this may be a sister of some sort or something like that. Or somebody you have just no or a brother. Somebody you've known for a long time, been very close to. Something like that, a friend. And in the channeled message down here, I did write on each one a specific person. But I don't know which one we have here. Trust your vision. Open your heart. Yeah, so it's time to open your heart and to express yourself, to trust the vision you have for the future with this person and to express what you want to happen. Oh, hey, <laughs> we have sister here. <laughs> Impossible person and open person. So yeah, this person may feel like you're impossible or you may feel like they're impossible. And, but you guys are both open people, and it's time to just open your heart, to trust your vision, and to believe in yourself, to believe in your ability to be able to bring peace as well. I missed that one. So, for the channeled message, we have, oh, hey. So, this message can be from a sibling, but it can also be from your parent, letting you know to connect to your sibling more and to open your heart. Proud parent. You are braver than all I know, more courageous, not for show. Your beauty, passion, and life throw me into constant strife. I believe you have what it takes. I think, of, I think the world of all the changes you'll make. You're amazing and beautiful and so smart, too. You spread your wings and flew. Arms outstretched, I saw it, too. I always knew you were a star. Just see how bright you really are. So you might have felt like this parent maybe favored a sibling over you, but I really feel like they didn't. It wasn't a competition. They love you all equally. Or 
that you may have reconnected a connection with your sister or you may soon do so or a brother it is possible that it's a brother as well and your parent wants to let you know that you are strong enough and brave enough to do this the door is open it's time for you to bring peace to the situation even if you feel like this person's an impossible person this person believes in you your parent believes in you to be able to express what you need to express to this person and to change their life for the better by being able to say what you need to say to them. And sometimes tough love is love too. So remember that as well if there's something harsh that you need to say. You might be an ob older sibling too. Step your game up. Refuse to give this person any more of your time and energy. Allow yourself to re receive the blessings coming your way. Stand in your own power, stand up for yourself and others, and stand up for what you feel is right. So it could also be that your sibling has, for some reason, been in a competition with you in some way. And, you know, you need to stop giving so much of your focus, your time, your attention to feeling like you're in a competition with your sister. You need to allow yourself to receive the blessings coming your way reach out and try to have a heart to heart stand in your own power stand up for yourself and for everyone around you do what you feel is right morally and stop feeling like you need to compete with somebody in your life you believe in yourself and others and you never judge you guide and inspire from a place of love you are very giving and pure you care deeply for your life you help others whenever you can you have a bleeding heart and that is an amazing thing in this hard cold world always keep your hope and belief alive so don't allow your hope to die out. Don't allow yourself to give up. Don't allow yourself to let go of the possibilities and the dreams you have in this life either because this person believes in you to really be able to accomplish them. Your, your parent really believes in you to be able to accomplish them, whether that's a mother or a father. Yeah, starfish. I feel like this person really has your back. They want to tell you that they have your back and they see the real you. Even if other people never really look beyond the surface, they have always seen the real you. They see you as a hard worker, somebody who is very effective in your communication, somebody who works well with people in the community, somebody who's always busy doing something kind for others and working hard as a team to build something great. And they really want to see you continue to do that and to not worry about competing with anyone else. You also may bring a lot of messages of truth to other people as well. You're somebody very wise, somebody who enjoys your time alone, somebody who really is very connected to God and is very connected to your intuition. You're very connected to your spiritual side. You are very much a very powerful, magical being. And you have a lot of faith in the messages you, you receive and a lot of trust in your God and you put all your worries there you really have a very strong intuition but it's clouded over right now and it's clouded over because you are not standing in your own power and standing up for your beliefs and standing up for who you are you might be afraid of expressing the truth of who you are because you may live in a very religious community and so being a very spiritual person is something that is not necessarily widely accepted especially if you're in a small town but i feel like i feel like this person really wants you to take some time to just rest to take care of yourself and to start expressing your truths in whatever format you can i feel like they may want you to write as well and write more of your thoughts down write more of your wisdom down write more of the knowledge that you have gained on your journey down because you have a lot of gifts that could really help other people and help them connect more to their own intuition and to their own God and their own beliefs and inspire them to stand up for themselves and what's right in their life as well just by watching you do that including your own siblings your own siblings even if they're in a competition with you right now a lot of that is because of how amazing they see you are as well and they're trying to be amazing too and eventually they will find their way and they will you know see how they have behaved and they will need to be coming to somebody who's a non-judgmental person who's going to accept them back with open arms instead of somebody who is not going to accept the apology if they're willing to apologize and they're willing to make things right and change the way they're behaving then there's no reason that somebody can't be in your life but you may also need to say some harsh harsh truths and cut this person off until they realize what you really do mean in their life because sometimes we do have to tell them the truth about how we feel 
about the way that they are treating us and that it isn't okay. And until they can learn how to treat us with respect, we don't want to be around them. There is nothing wrong with having confidence, and that's what confidence is. And yes, it does hurt when we are talking to people we love that way and we're worried about whether or not we'll ever see them again and things like that. But you know what? You need to show them how to do that in their life. A good leader leads by example. And you also need to do that for yourself so that you can feel good in your life. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear whether or not this resonated with you, if you could relate to this situation, what may be going on here as well in the comments below. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. Pile 2. There may be some people from Pile 1 that are watching Pile 2. <laughs> considering that charm really wanted to come over here or you could just be waiting on divine timing as well so we have this parking services thing and you know what the one time i got this in a reading it really felt like somebody was being used for their sexual acts in some way i'm i feel like you may be selling yourself short in some way as well um, you could be getting a new job, too, though. There might be a new job, and, you, and it could have something to do with parking services. We also have this little guy. For right now, it's really reminding me of Leo, but it's actually a griffin. It's not a lion. It's a griffin. It's, I don't even know where it came from. I found it one day, but it's absolutely amazing, and it's really heavy, too. I feel like there may be a lot of weighty things going on in your life, a lot of things that weigh a lot. And you're being asked to face them with courage and valor and with respect and dignity and to hold your head high and be the leader that you know you can be. Have courage, bravery, acceptance of yourself, acceptance of others, setting appropriate boundaries in some cases as well. We have this, this is my crown chakra one. So you're really receiving a lot of messages as well. You might be feeling a little burdened by that too. Um, you could be receiving a lot of messages and really you know what you need to do and right now you need to transform your life. You need to come out, you need to open up, you need to express yourself and who you really are inside. You need to remove your mask and you need to step up into your courage and your bravery and do the right thing that you feel is right for you and express yourself express yourself and be you really you are somebody very different very unique somebody who has a lot to offer this world if you would just close down some of the self-judgment a little bit you have the keys to stability you have the keys to remain stable and grounded you have the keys to be able to do this with confidence <clears throat> So we have, who is really standing in your way? Yourself. <laughs> Time to move forward. Leave the past behind. We have, guard your heart, but not too much. Know the worth of others in your life. Believe in yourself and distance. Believe yourself in yourself. Distance yourself and take action. So there's somebody that you need to distance yourself in from who may be causing you to not believe in yourself or your dreams you need to make sure that you're guarding your heart but not too much not so much that you're not allowing others into your life but enough that you are protecting your energy and your own sense of self from outside sources and you really need to start to see and appreciate the value and worth of other people in your life as well and once you distance yourself you'll be able to see what action you need to take in moving forward. You'll be able to calm your mind and bring yourself to a state of peace and relaxation. It's time to move forward, though, and leave the past behind you, and you're standing in your way on doing that for some reason. So we also have a recovered addict, a person in poverty, childhood friend, and loving person. So... This could be somebody who might be in poverty. They may be a recovered addict. They may be a friend from childhood. There's somebody who is very loving, 
you are somebody who's very loving. You're somebody who is very, very loving, but you also need to make sure that you are setting healthy boundaries for yourself and not allowing others to keep you in a negative state or mindset about your life because they don't want you to change and move forward because they are unwilling to change and move forward in their life, I feel like is what a lot of the message is to that. You are a very loving soul. Animals, the earth, people, and plants are all very important to you, and you stand up to protect them with them all with a fiery passion. Never let others talk you out of that or to cause you to turn away. You are passionate, and you believe in equality and respect for all life. You are not crazy for believing this. You are not crazy for putting your foot down and expecting other people to treat everyone with respect, whether that's an animal, whether that's a child, whether that is nature. It doesn't matter. You are not crazy for feeling like people should treat it with respect and to value each other equally and to take care of each other in loving ways and to not judge each other, to love each other unconditionally and care for each other unconditionally. You are somebody who really feels like People who are going through things in life are just going through things in life. You may have even known a lot of recovered addicts as a child or a lot of people in poverty as a child. And you have taken this with you into your adulthood. and Or you may have even experienced that in your past as well. And you've taken this with you into adulthood and you just, you love people and you shine and you try to bring kindness and peace and love wherever you go because you know how painful and cruel this world can be. Do not allow anybody to talk you out of being yourself or to make you feel like you're crazy or like you should be scared or feel fearful from doing what you feel like is right. Because doing what you feel like is right is always the answer, no matter if you're scared or not. It doesn't matter. Everyone is scared sometimes. Everyone is worried. Everyone is fearful. Everyone is anxious sometimes. It's what we do in those moments that matter the most. Are we going to back down from those fears? Are we going to face those fears? And are we going to express what we, need, what we need to express? On the chain. I love you so much, it's hard to bear. But you treat me like you just don't care. You let others run your life. You take their side in every strife. Because you know I'll never leave, but I feel it's time for me to receive. The heart of someone who truly sees, someone who knows all of the keys. I shouldn't have to tell you how I unlock. Time is running out. Tick tock. You should know everything if you care to see. One of us has to set us free. If you don't love me, let me go. If you do, just go with the flow. Stop holding back what you have to say. Honesty is the best way. A partner. So this is a message from a partner that you are with. Somebody who may be a recovered addict. Somebody who may be in poverty as well. Somebody who could have been your friend for a very, very long time and is a super loving person. Somebody who wants you to do the right thing, wants you to stand in your power, wants you to not listen to other people, and wants you to accept who you are and take action to make things right and to say how you feel and to do what you feel instead of doing what everyone else wants you to do. And I am so sorry if that is a harsh message to hear. But sometimes we are the ones that are not realizing that we are allowing other people around us to guide our actions or behaviors or to lead their energy into us, causing us to fear the same things that they fear, to fear the ridicule, ridicule of other people, to fear not looking like the best person in the room, to fear not taking the side of other people you love. You should take the side of you and what you believe in, and you should stand up for that. You should always do your own research, and you should always make your own decisions and your own judgments, and you should not rely those on other people, because at the end of the day, the only person that you have to blame, when it all comes down to it in the end, is yourself. Because you chose to believe those things, instead of standing in your power, and doing what you knew was right. Cleanse, shield, protect, and purify your energy. So yes, you need to cleanse, clear, protect, and purify your energy. You need to pull yourself away from people for a little while. To go into a cave, a hermitude for a little while so that you can understand which people are having what effects on you and what you truly want without anybody else's energy leading into it. 
You need to stop telling everybody everything going on in your life and you need to make your decisions yourself. Focus on gratitude. What do you have to be thankful for? Believe in yourself and your dreams and disregard the haters. Focus elsewhere. It's time to focus on you and your future. And it's time to disregard anybody who doesn't believe in you or what you want for your life. It is time to focus on gratitude and being grateful for everything that you have had in your life to be grateful for. For everything this person has done for you or you have done for this person, you're an amazing person too. That is the bad part because you're giving all of your kind, loving energy to everybody else to use and twist and manipulate in their own ways. They are getting under your skin and you are allowing them to control your life instead of standing in your power and being what you are meant to be in this world, which is a light. A light to this world and that is a great responsibility and with that great responsibility comes a lot of power you let a lot of things sit and fester until they're so big that you end up lashing out on people because you are keeping in what you really feel and it's in your life purpose to be, be able to face a conflict head-on and be able to express yourself and what you need to do and what you need to work on and what you feel like is your path and your purpose you need to tell people what your path and purpose is and tell them that you are not backing down because you know what you want to do in this lifetime and you feel like you have been told what you need to be working on and what you want to do and you are working really hard you're spinning and weaving this web and it is a good thing and everybody else who doesn't like it doesn't need to be weighing in on it either you have temperance you have the hierophant yeah breaking those negative attachments to people being patient and trusting, being calm as you're exploring your emotions, being perseverant in your goals and your objectives, making sure that you are working hard and patient and you keep doing it and keep going because you have everything it takes. You are somebody who's very wise. You are somebody who brings a lot of knowledge and wisdom and understanding to other people. You are somebody who is very fair-minded, very non-judgmental, very loving and kind, and you really awaken a lot of people in their lives. And you can't do that if you are so attached to other people and how they feel about what you're doing and where you should be going and who you should be talking to and anything else. Because you should be allowed to go and talk to and do whatever you want and be around the people you feel like you should be around because you're there trying to help them and other people can just calm down. You need to calm down by Taylor Swift. Go listen to that song. Ten of Water and Mother of Water. You really need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive others. You need to cleanse your pain and your hurt. You have reached this level of emotional maturity and intelligence. You're somebody very compassionate, loving. You may be very psychic in this pile as well. You're very intuitive, emotional, empathic. You are just amazing. You're very empathic. You really need to protect your energy so that other people cannot drain you and they cannot manipulate you you need to see your true value and your true worth and you need to work hard towards this purpose and this passion of being a light worker in this world and you need to tell anybody who doesn't think that you should be doing what you're doing for whatever reason where they can stick it because you know that you're protected in this because this is your path and your purpose and you know that it's safe for you to be doing this and you know that you are going to be doing this because this is what you want to do and you will die without it. Your soul will die without standing up for your right to be this beautiful, amazing person. It will wither away in a drought because you aren't able to give and receive the love you have in your heart. And the love you have in your heart will dry up like the desert instead of being flowing in beauty and purity. So I really hope that you make the choice to do that. And that's the message that I have from your partner here is to be that person regardless of they, if they make you feel that way regardless of anybody else making you feel that way be the person you are meant to be period and if you're meant to walk away from them walk away from them because they want you to be happy wherever you are because this person is a loving person too so that's what i have for this pile and i really hope that you enjoyed this reading and i would absolutely love to hear what you thought of it whether or not you felt like that fit with you or your situation or what you may be going through in the comments below and i want you to remember that we all go through stuff like this at time where we look in the mirror and realize those things and it's okay and i hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day whatever it is wherever you are when you're watching bye, -bye guys pile three so for pile three i feel like you're healing your heart I feel like you're very protected in your communication. I feel like you're very protected in <clears throat> certain situations. 
I feel like you may be a little on ice right now. Your heart might be a little on ice. Your communication might be a little on ice because of some past pain. But there's really a lot of heart healing going on here. You're somebody who fights for the values, for the freedoms, for the rights and liberties of other people. You are somebody who goes all in on your plans. You are somebody who really knows what you want. Um, this is also from 2012, 1871. Yeah, you're somebody who really sees things from a higher perspective as well. You understand things from a higher perspective. You are a very loving, compassionate, beautiful person, and you have really been working very hard to bring balance to yourself and your heart. And you have been protecting your energy from others. You have been setting appropriate healthy boundaries as well, where in the past you may not have. You are also somebody who is very connected to the community around you as well. You are somebody who really enjoys shopping and eating local, supporting local communities and businesses, supporting local people. You are somebody who believes in helping the planet, I feel like, as well in this pile. So we have forgiveness is needed here for yourself and others. Yeah, you're really working on healing your heart, and that's what this person wants you to know, is that forgiveness is needed for you and for others in this situation, whoever is wanting to talk to you. Play your cards and hope for the best laws and all, arm yourself with the greatest weapon knowledge. So really, if you're feeling like you don't know some things about a situation, go get to know them, dig up the dirt, go figure out what you need to figure out. But you got your cards in your hand. You play those cards and you hope for the best. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It wasn't meant to be. So, you know, that doesn't mean you hate the other person. If there was ever love there to begin with, there is always love there on both sides. So forgiveness is really needed for yourself and for the other person to know that love is unconditional, flaws and all, and to allow yourself to know that you can only do the best you can. You make the decisions you make, and sometimes it doesn't work out for the best. So this person may have made some decisions that just did not work out for the best, and that's okay. We have grateful person. We have honest person, and we have stubborn person. This person knows that you're a very grateful person, a very honest person, but you're also a very stubborn person as well, and you may be stuck in your pain or your heartache. You may be stuck on the past events that happened that caused a lot of pain and heartache. Um... This person you're dealing with could be a very stubborn person as well, but you may have shared some very harsh truths with this person. And that's okay, because tough love is love too, and like it says, flaws and all. This person still loves you, and you still love this person. And even if you're not together, or I don't know if it's, I don't think this is a partner, I think this is a friend. I'm really feeling friend for this pile. Actually, you know what? Yeah, it is friend because I already did the partner one and I did the parent one. So this one's the friend. So, yeah, this person really just wants your forgiveness and they want to forgive you as well. They love you flaws and all and they would like you to love them flaws and all. You play your cards, you hope for the best, and you really try to be honest, grateful. You're an honest and grateful person, but you're a very stubborn person too. I feel like this person was dishonest with you in the past at some point. And maybe they want your forgiveness so that you can heal your connection. You are so amazing with animals and kids. You could be another, you could be a mother or a teacher. You are patient and kind. You have a big imagination as well and connect very easily with kids. So you're very imaginative. You're very loving. You're very, maybe this person saw you as kind of like the mother friend as well. Um, they also could have been a little envious of your relationship with your kids or your animals if they didn't have any of their own. They just really see your beauty and love you so much we have the air shifts what's wrong with being confident demi lovato your attraction is felt everywhere your confidence is in the air done taking shit for all but you you really are so very true when you enter any room quiet descends like a tomb transformation strikes so fast i really do hope this will last you're amazing i hope you know nothing you do is ever for show you're kind to everyone that you meet race, gender, sexuality, 
You know it all is reality. You treat all people with kindness and care. You are someone just and fair, a friend. A possible reminder to those who may have let fear overcome their higher nature. So, yeah, you may have let your fear of this person overcome your higher nature, too. Um, this person could be very confident. I feel like you could be very confident. Or this other person could be. Whichever one of you is very confident, let their fear... The other one let their fear overcome them because they felt like nobody could see them when you were around. It's like they were suffocating and they couldn't breathe because you shined so brightly that they felt invisible maybe as well. And so maybe they might have spread some rumors or go gossip or lies about you and you could have went cold on them and cut them off. And they really, they, even if you guys never heal this connection, you need to forgive this person for you. But either way, this person would really like to ask you for your forgiveness for being so jealous of your confidence and your beauty and your shine. Because they have it in themselves too, but they just don't see it. Obviously they have it in themselves that there's somebody who gets along with you and makes a good friend with you, you know? Don't associate with those who wish you harm, yeah. Forgive this person, but you may want to remember that you shouldn't be associating with those who wish you harm as well. You shouldn't be allowing your fit to, fear to get to you, but you also should be recognizing when it's not fear and it's your intuition as well clear your mind and rest take a break you have worked so hard actions speak louder than words you are badass know it's true and move on for you let go of the past it's time to move on it's time to move away from this person whether this person wants your forgiveness or not it's time to move on for this person but you still need to forgive yourself you need to forgive this person i don't f <laughs> Part of me says, you know, I feel like some of you here, you're not supposed to move on from this person. You just need to move on from the past. And you need to let go. You need to let go of your fear. You need to let go of your pain. Clear your mind. Take a rest. And really listen to your intuition and trust it. I feel like that's why I'm having such a hard time with that is because you need to listen to your intuition. Yeah. Rest. Find peace. Meditate things like that there's going to be a transformation in your thinking there's going to be something that you're going to see that you didn't see before and you're really going to come out of your shell in a brand new way as well there's been a lot of competition and you may not have noticed it or you may not have cared maybe a lot of it has been very superficial and so you weren't seeing it but there's been a lot of blessings in your life that maybe you have taken for granted in some way as well um <clears throat> Yeah, somebody wants to come in. They want to step into their power and their confidence and go after what they want. They want to come in and make you an offer of truth. They want to come in and repair the damage done. They didn't see what you were worth in the past because they were looking at all these people competing over you while you're telling them to go away because you don't want nothing to do with them anyway because none of them are wanting to treat you right anyway. I feel like that's what it is, but this person, all they saw was that they were paying attention to you. So that's what I have for this pile. And I hope you guys have